this question I'm going to ask you. I want to know from you. The as you know, the Pillsbury Dill boy, you know, the the crispy crispy cream himself, uh Christy Krispy Cream is gonna run for president again. What's your intake on that guy? Go ahead, Amy. I want to see what you have to say about that. <laughs> um the Pillsbury Dill boy uh Dill boy, well, um he is a legend. Um he's cute, um, durable. Um, but running for president, um <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm a little uh, shaky on that. Um, <laughs> I just, um, don't quite see that. <laughs> Crispy, you know, the crispy. I'm saying like Chris Christie. You know the guy, of, of the governor of New Jersey. Oh, 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 oh yes. Um, yeah, he's another one that needs to go on a crazy bus. He's uh, yeah. He needs to stop beating his face. Um, he's fat. Like I said, the, he, that's why I'm calling him the, the Pillsbury Doughboy, Krispy Kreme himself, the new, the, 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 the Hackensack, New Jersey, you know, the, 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 hack, the, hack, the, the hacky sack in New Jersey. That's what we call Krispy Krispy Kreme now. The hacky sack, in, the hacky sack of New Jersey. Krispy Krispy Kreme, Chris Christie as the Krispy Krispy Kreme, the Pillsbury Doughboy himself. Go ahead, Amy. I think that is absolutely a doughboy. I think that's absolutely a wonderful label for him because he is the Pillsbury doughboy. Um, and if he would, he needs to just stop beating his face. Um, you know, he needs to exercise, lose some weight, and stop being a fat ass. Um, he is a fat ass. You know, um... He needs exercise. He needs to lose the weight. Stop eating, Christy. Stop feeding your face. Go exercise and stop being a fat ass because you're the poster child for obesity. Mm -hmm. You know, Michelle, uh, Michael, Michelle, whatever, you know, stenchy name that she uses, he uses, it uses, um, you know, uh, I'll bring it down for you. Let me bring it down. Let me bring it down for you. The, the, the Mucha Michelle Ray my going at Cabot goes a bomb. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it very much is that. Um, and, you know, she is not employed by the country. She is just basically needs to be seen and not heard. And um, the things that she is doing um, are tacky, disgusting, and they just need to stop. No wonder the schools don't want her, you know, nasty, you know, how whatever, you know. Right. She has no business sticking her nose in the things where they don't damn belong. Like McDonald's. You know, she McDonald's. has two daughters that, well, that are adopted. They're not theirs. They're adopted. Right. To make that clear. Um, but her two daughters or adopted daughters, um, you know, when... They were out there, you know, at the speech there um, that he was supposedly giving, trying to be smart, um, and the way they were dressed, their attitudes. Um, right. You know, that staffer, point blank, she had it right, and she should not have apologized. Um, those little girls are um, big attitudes. If I was their mother, I would have smacked both of them. Mm -hmm. Clean as day, TV or not, I would have smacked both of them. Mm -hmm. I would have had no problem doing that because their attitudes need to change. But, you know, I shouldn't be surprised because of the two crazy buses, you know, uh, you know, crazy one and crazy two that they have to put up with. Um, I feel sorry for them, too, because... Um, Don't be a snazzy. They were raised <laughs> by Christian parents. They wouldn't have the attitude problems and wouldn't dress like whores, like Michelle... Michael, whatever you want to name it, um, you know, that's just what it is. Right. So, 
Anyway, I know we're getting we're getting over our time here, but um, I appreciate you having me on, Amy. I really do. Happy birthday to you, and I'll thank, give. Thank you.